What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. How come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, then he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. <laughs> We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> okay, let's move out. Yeah. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl. Nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. These should work. Once he's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah. Best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups, dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up, it's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, 
Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through. Rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that, but little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk, and before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? So, how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first, I thought it was a bad idea. But then I figured, <laughs> they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Till she's gotten real dead. 
I'm with child, and it's just, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right, hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Go, no, Erna! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Okay, the door's unlocked. Oh, oh you think we're here for fun? No. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Open that goddamn vault. Oh. Open it. Oh. Oh. Too goddamn slow. Get a move on. Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Okay. I'm in! Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself in here. Come here. Open the lock boxes now! I... Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I... God damn it! Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. <gasps> now you shut the hell up and be still. Hey, keep still. If I see that leg move again, you get a bullet. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This is taking too long. Another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Gentlemen! I said come out now! What do we do? I don't know. Give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry.
We lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was... Stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. <sighs> okay. Yep. This is Downs. Yeah. husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. <sighs> well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black, on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day.
There we go. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. How you so where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on, hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Well, there it is. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, Ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. 
He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Go on, back to what I paid you for. Okay, let's go. This way. can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is, right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And... Please leave that gun in its holster for once. Okay, then. Yo! 
Yorkers are prigs and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. Could, could you? It's, it's such a small show, but... Would you sing something for me? I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Uh, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. You treat of our sheep. Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Hey, fellas, I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now.
Ah, please come in, sir. This way, sir. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. Can I drive? Nope. <sighs> All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he's giving his usual flannin'. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm all for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. But they're really buried some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them, now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Them Greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them Greys. In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> We're here. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talk. Hold it right there. What you want, boy? I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? H here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, I I've come from Donegal in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. 
They said you'd understand. Uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive right this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? Then you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> Quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite that fat. <coughs> <coughs> How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Someone coming on the left. Huh? Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? I'll take care of this fella. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble.
should be enough for here. It's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna douse this too. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! <laughs> Woo! Would you look at that? Yeah! Now let's burn those bloody fears to the ground. Get on the ladder. Really get this going. Somebody scared him already. Right. Ah. 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 Got some horses from the stables. Come on. Not right now. We got company. Look out. This is bloody madness. Horses. Well, let's see if the payroll is actually. 
actually in there. Hurry up. Oh boy, we did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, but well, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here, fast! You right, follow me! Just get out of here first. The little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Later. I, I got some business. Right you are, English. Another job well done, I'd say. <laughs> 